Two things. Bloody Mary. Are we gonna get drunk now? Go ahead. I'll join you in a minute. Okay, but try not to upset any more serial killers. At least not before breakfast. No, of course. But it's such a nice morning. I just want to enjoy it for a moment and collect my thoughts. Sure. See you later then. And don't step in a sheep's poo. Those are well trained sheep. They don't shit in the garden. <laughs> okay. Well trained sheep, huh? Look at me where you drink it. Uh -huh. You can come out now, little friend. I know you've been following me. What's that? A name tag? Let's see. Miller. Nice name. Where's your owner, Miller? Are you lost? Well, you're welcome to stay if you want. There's always room for one more cat. Reanimate and control a fresh corpse. We need to have one of their names. Okay, so what kind of sandwich are we gonna make now then? We're gonna make a plain egg sandwich. like cheese with uh, lettuce and tomato and cucumber oh you're thinking of BLT We made a strange sandwich, that's what they're saying. Strawberry yam, then I don't know. We never would have to have toast, right? 
That's also a strange sandwich. We have ham and then we have mustard on it. Is that gonna be fine? Why oh, is that a strange sandwich then? Oh, is it gonna be I'm gonna test with that and then ham and that? Then mustard on that, then um, cheese on top of that. Oh, that's a strange too. And no matter what you do, it feels like it's just gonna pick like strange, no matter what. So if you do cheese. Um, That is tomato and some cucumber. No, not pink. God damn it. Oh, BLT doesn't want. You can take it. It's yes, I want to see if we can get one that is, doesn't say it's a strange uh, sandwich, which is kind of weird because it's like. Just make it like a. It's just weird uh, if it wants a spe very specific or not. Now let's see if we take him a BLT and see what he says. Maybe we should have uh, wait, uh, let's do like this. Red. There we go. You need a bread on top. We got a BLT. So what the? And it became a very weird B BLT all of a sudden. The eyeballs and intestines. Dead Angie's here. Just hanging around.
Oh, I'm supposed to run and dash through the door. That's what we may see. Here's Angie. Already. Well done, Angeline. You're really doing it. Hmm. I suppose I am. Thanks. But why am I here again? That's how things work on Burnhouse Lane. Once you find it, you can never really leave it. Am I dead? Did I choke to death coughing? Is that it? No. You're here because it's time for your third task. But I've only just finished the last one. You don't have a lot of time, Angie. You know that. Fine. What do you want me to do now? You must go to the nearby town of Honiton. There's a woman there named Mary Willis. She lives in a house on the far side of town, away from prying eyes. Once, she was on the front pages of all the local newspapers. Now, most have forgotten she even still exists. See, Mary used to be a nurse, a phlebotomist. One day, her colleagues caught her stealing blood bags. She was secretly stashing them in the trunk of her car so she could take them home. 
Mary lost her job, but did not go to jail. Instead, she spent a couple of years on the psychiatric ward, treated for schizophrenia. Okay. Well, what's that got to do with me? You will enter Mary's house and spill a drop of blood into her meal. Then, you must make sure she consumes it. Why? Because blood is where your sickness lives. If you want to cure it, you must first share it with someone else. Someone horrible, like Mary. But won't that kill her? No, it's just part of the ritual. The only meaning it has is symbolic. How do I make her drink it, though? She loves all blood. She'll love yours, too. They call her Bloody Mary for a reason. You'll see. Now, go back before poor old George starves to death. But I... No. Quiet now. Listen. Be still. And let the darkness take you back into your world. Yes, that's a smooth voice there. <laughs> like one of those dangerous ones. You okay? Yeah, I just got something in my throat. Really? Because that sounded like you were about to choke to death. Don't be silly. It's a smoker's cough, that's all. Okay, if you say so. Hey, guess what? There's a spare bedroom upstairs with an actual bed I could use. But it's locked. And neither George nor Kieran knows what happened to the key. Maybe you've seen it? I don't know. I've seen a lot of keys. What does it look like? It's, uh, yellow, and it apparently has a, a lion engraved on it. A lion? I think that's the word Kieran used. I honestly can't understand what he's saying half the time. I'll let you know if I see it. We do have it. Drive to Honiton. Wow. Someone's popular today. I saw her die. Huh? The doctor signed us. What do you mean? I saw them buried. The cats, just look at them. They adore you. Cats? But I lived in these islands. Oh, yes. These furry rascals are rather lovely, aren't they? Sarah mentioned something about cats not being allowed inside. Really? Well, she's always preferred dogs. But don't worry, we can keep the cats a secret. Kieran won't say anything to her either. And Jenny, well, ladies like her never stay long. She'll probably be gone before next Sunday. Hey, uh, you're not heading towards the kitchen by any chance, are you? I'm one step ahead of you, George. I've already got your sandwich. Oh, goody. Damn, he likes that one. Shall we go in? Don't ask me, it's your room. One 
of the perks of being an actress is that I always stay in five-star hotels wherever I go. They have those fancy bathrobes and mint chocolates waiting for you on the pillow. Sometimes they even do room service for pets. <laughs> What'd you imagine? You can order a poached fucking salmon for your fucking chihuahua if that's something that floats your boat. But this house and this room, they're just so much better. In what way? No one's pretending anything here. This shit is real. So are the spiders. Just wait till you find one. I don't mind spiders. This place is oh, exactly what I need in my life right now. Jenny, are you sure it isn't your near-death experience that's making you see things through rose-colored glasses? Because let's face it, this house is a bit shit. I don't care. <laughs> I haven't felt this good in a long time. Well, in that case, enjoy. I have a little errand to run in Honiton. So I'll see you later, I guess. I hope this errand doesn't involve any serial killers again. In Honiton? Please. The only thing that's capable of killing you in that dead little town is boredom. Sure. I... I didn't mean to patronize you. I just... <sighs> Be careful, yeah? These are the boxes that's down in the basement, too. workshops right now so let's see so yep let's go hey nurse where are you off to honiton shopping not really i was actually gonna give some blood you know oh like to uh, to save lives and stuff yeah that's right to save a life Storm is coming. Shit the fucking weather. Better go on foot from here, I don't want to alarm Mary by pulling up in front of her house. Let's see, is anything on this way? Yeah. Maybe when I'm done with Bloody Mary, I should uh, bring sufficient ships on to George and Jenny. And uh, Karen, I suppose.
Ooh, a red balloon. Wanna play? Yeah, being a mom, can't say I understand kids. I guess I never will, man. Oh. Evil child. Can he just uh, throw the child face down there? Big commercial building like this going to waste, waiting for someone to rent it, but the business isn't exactly booming around there, is it? Kit splashed us. That was actually an achievement. This way the local pisshead gathered for a drink, the number of empty bottles surrounding the place would suggest that. Snapped in half like a twig. Is Bloody Mary that strong? It can't be. Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary. Hmm. Go close, no shit. Read. Looks like local kids scribble something on the sign. Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary! Being so full looks like even the rubbish collection people don't come this way anymore. This must be merry sounds. The old house is complete without a rickety old fence like this one. Come on path. Uh, this narrow path seems to lead to the back of the house. Let me check the front first. Lighting the window on the top floor. No? It's not a good idea. What would I say to her? Um, hello, horrible, crazy lady. Would you like to drink some of my blood? No, oh, I need to find another way to get in. Go to the backyard. Things like shit. Garden shed. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Stop. Hello, Moonlight. Can I call you that? Did you follow me here? To Honiton? Really? Boy, you're gonna wish you didn't. I have a nasty feeling that nothing good's waiting for us here. But, since you're already here... Will you help me again? Let's break inside this shitty old house and give Bloody Mary her medicine, shall we? Kitty time!
This thing has to go all the way up there. Man. right on that one though so what the heck okay so that's one Hmm. I shouldn't be here. Run away, amigo. Run away while you can. Was it be able to get somewhere up here or? Can open doors like that, huh? Yeah.
you stinking little carpet pooper. <laughs> I'm not having another bleeding cat sneaking up in here. <laughs> okay. Rubbish broken brass was the pipes I don't know used to me. Shelves are filled with jars of pickles and cans of baked beans. Yeah. Since it's too strong, the whole room is filled with shit. I could go in if there was a good reason to, but right now I don't think it's worth it. There are dishes here and a big pot full of gross stuff that only reminds me of black pudding. I like black pudding. And a covered pot of vegetable soup is simmering on the stove. It looks pretty nasty. It smells even worse. Add on blood. Okay, right. Adding blood to my soup is definitely the way to go, but... I need something sharp to cut to stab my fingers. Shit, why didn't I think of that before? Right, another thing in life inside, how the hell does she do all the cooking in here? Right, it doesn't appear to be full of functional. Take a page. Looks like a couple of Honiton Tribune, the local newspaper. What's this say? Uh, this is my schedule for the day. 
9 a.m. Jeremy breakfast. Uh, big plus bottle. 1 p.m. Jeremy lunchtime. Quick deliver. Haha. <laughs> Bus. Okay. 3 p.m. Dre. 1 p.m. p.m. Jeremy dinner is, I guess. Brain plus heart. 7 p.m. Okay, so it's uh, 6 p.m. when he's gonna have dinner. Brain plus heart. That's what we're probably gonna do. 7 p.m. Feed idiot. Vegetable soup. 9 p.m. Cuddles time. A dog the size of a German shepherd eating from a bowl like this. This one clearly belongs to this horrible looking pig. The name Jeremy is written on the side. Is that what the pig's called? Need something sharp now, though. So what we can do is um, vegetable soup. Let's see, that is. Um,
think I'm missing an item somewhere. Jeremy. Jeremy? Forcing pigs, but he's really obs obsessed with them. But why? Some book, a quick browse, reads a diary, mostly talks about pigs' dietary development and training. There's also some more intimate details that make me wish I would never look in the damn book in the first place. A box of sweets. This looks like Valentine's Day gift for the pig. I doubt it. Poor bass only seem to enjoy meat and blood. Bet she bought this heart-shaped box of sweets for herself. It's inside the box. Then we got the key. The chef seems to run down to the basement. It's crazy, but I think she would really be it to shovel out the pig's excrement that way. Nasty. Okay, so we need to pick one of these now. Um, is it 3 p.m.? Is it draining? If that's what we need to uh, um, do, Thank you. 
Do the six down. Oh, I tried to run away. I almost made it too. But I didn't expect this house would close on me like that. What do you mean? I mean that... Oh, she made sure I never tried to run again. You can't run away without legs. But what did she take your arms off for? I had strong arms, you know. One day, I went for the pig. I tried to strangle it. I wanted to beat that fucker's fat ugly face into a pulp. See, you can't defeat Mary without killing the pig first. I mean, you can try, but it's like punching a concrete wall. It just ain't gonna work. So, she amputated your limbs as punishment for attacking her pig? <laughs> yeah, but that's not even the worst part. She made me watch. I'm sorry. It's fine now. I've accepted my fate. I'm just a dead man, waiting for my angel to take me home. What's your name? Ben. I used to run a barber shop, but that was then, and now it's gone. Everything's gone. What's the deal with the pig? That fucking pig. They share a bond, they do. She loves the pig, and the pig loves her. But there's more to it. It's almost as if that bastard is the source of her power. She bottle feeds the pig with the blood she drains from my body. And in return, I know it's crazy, but that damned animal makes her strong as an ox. And honestly, there's no stopping her in a fight. I saw it with my own eyes. If you want to get to Mary, deal with the pig first. Right. Noted. Is there anything I can do for you? I... I'd love to give you a haircut before my time's up. I don't think that's possible. No? Why? You know why. Oh, right. You thought I meant here? No. Just find my other barber shop when you're ready. The one on Burnhouse Lane. Burnhouse Lane? How do you know about that? I keep dreaming about it, and in my dreams, I can walk and hold scissors again, but the shop's empty. No one ever comes. Please, will you come? It would mean a lot to me if you did. Yes, I'll come. Thank you. Thank you. How long have you been here? Weeks, months, oh, I don't know. Everything's a blur. 
But I know one thing. I won't be here for much longer. Don't say that. And neither will you. What? How do you... I saw you on the other side. Oh, yes. It's only a matter of time before we both cross over for good. So, you're a prisoner here? I think so, yes. My memory's fuzzy. And the worst part, I can't tell what's real from what's in my mind. I'm real. You're real? Right. What about the big spider? The one right behind you? No, that's not real. There's no spiders here. No, but it whispers to me. It says, You are mine. You are mine. You are. Stop it. You're hallucinating. Right, sorry. I'm just so tired. I have to go. Well, that was messed up. Yes. You fly, my angel. Fly like a bird. Question is where the heck is she at right now? Mrs. Willis. Miss. Miss Willis. What do you want? My name is Detective Kagan, and this is Detective Underseat. We just wanted to ask you a couple of questions. Can we come in? Not really. I'm in the middle of something. You're not going to keep us out in this rain, are you? It's just a standard procedure. We won't take long. Oi! I said! You just barged in! That's rude! Very, very rude! We're looking for someone. A man. Tall, dark hair, in his 40s. Goes by the name... Benjamin Mitchell. What's that got to do with me? He's gone missing two months ago. So? Lots of people do. Right, of course. And when they do, it's our job to look for them. Yeah? Well, 
It's not to do with me. So go away and leave me alone. Is that blood on your fridge door? What? Oh, that. I... I had chicken liver for lunch. Ah, chicken liver. That's my favorite. Don't be disgusting, Dave. But that soup smells nice. You and your veggies? I just don't get you people. Look, I'm very busy. What? What's that sound? Did you hear that? Yes, like little feet tapping on the floorboards. Is there someone else in the house of you, Mrs. Willis? No. But someone's clearly walking upstairs. It's just the bloody rain tapping on the bloody window. Let's check it out, Detective. Well, it sounds that they are gonna die. Wait. It stopped. Don't say I didn't bloody warn you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Back, Mrs. Willis. <laughs> it's Miss Miss Willis. Why is it so hard to remember? A mess. Now I'll have to clean up these two, but not without my cleaning tool. You're such a good pig, Jeremy. Thank you. It looks like it's time for plan B. And he took the freaking gun? God damn it, I could really use that gun. Jeremy took the young man. Uh, it's a clever little pass, I didn't know that. Give me the gun, Jeremy. Come on, you don't need it. Pigs don't use guns. He's gonna drop. I hope. He's gonna drop it in there. Stay away from that hole. Yep. Yeah. 
here with me and now we have to go in there. <laughs> Time to go in and dig in some uh, pig shit. You spiteful bastard. A cleaning tool. Oh no. Don't tell me it's already seven. Bloody hell, it's time for the soup. Uh, looks like you two ugly birdies will have to wait your turn. Be mad to eat those bloody things. It's time for your soup, idiot. I'm not hungry. Oh, don't give me that. I've had a difficult day. I don't care. Oh, you don't care, do you? I shit on you and your fucking soup. Oh, yeah? Didn't I bloody tell you? I'm having a difficult bloody day. Fuck you, bitch. Nice. Real nice. <laughs> right. Here comes uh -oh. his. Whether you want it yeah, or I did. not. Otherwise, it would. There. It's done. I won't have to put up with any of your dilly dallying anymore. But she didn't eat it, so it doesn't matter now. Unless she's gonna eat him. That went so fast, I had like no chance to do anything. It's like it's supposed to happen. Hmm? It's you again. Who else did you expect? Hi. You are right. I've been better. Yeah, I can tell. 
You look like you're in some deep shit. <laughs> no shit. That's actually exactly what happened. <laughs> I was in deep shit, but I'm okay now. What about you? How are things here? Well, I'll be honest. Things have been pretty fucked up lately. What's wrong? <sighs> It's Ruby. She's gone. Ruby? Oh, the new big girl. From the cellar? Yeah. She went feral the other night. Just like Destiny. So, I closed the shop. There's no one here that needs my food anymore. I feel like I should leave, but I don't know where to go. Have you been eating? You look so skinny. With Ruby gone, I've lost my appetite. All this food in here, and I just feel sick looking at it. You're wasting away. You shouldn't worry about me. Don't you have enough problems of your own? Because I'm good, I'm okay. I'll go somewhere, get some sleep. Yeah, that's what I need. A long... Long sleep with no dreams. Where did Ruby go? The street, I think. I can hear the pounding of her feet at night sometimes. I just turn off the lights and hide. My advice, if you happen to bump into her, make sure you have enough bullets on you. Or just run, that's what I'd do. She's slow as shit. Just dash past her and you'll be all right. I like to drink vodka, uh, red shite. <laughs> Speed. You can't just give up, you know. I'm not giving up. I've been defeated, and I've accepted it. What else can I do? Just wait. Be patient. Sooner or later, someone new will come along, and you'll make food for them. Isn't that what you want? No, not anymore. I can see things clearly now, and I'm okay with all of this. I must go. We must all go. In the end. Any other threats out there that I should know about? Well, have you met the dead guys? Yeah. I met a whole bunch at the cemetery the other day. They looked like burnt corpses. And I'm pretty sure they wanted to eat me. What are they? <sighs> They're the poor sods who won't accept their fate, that's all. They were weak in life, and they're just as weak in death. Sometimes a single bullet is enough to bring them down. You still have your gun, yes? I wish, but no, I lost it. Well, I'm sure there's another one somewhere out there. How do I get back now? Why? What's there to go back to? Would you understand if I told you? Hmm. You're right, I probably wouldn't. This place has been my home for as long as I can remember. But it's not mine. Not yet, anyway. All right, all right. I know just the thing. There's this guy, Ben. Ben the Barber. He said he was expecting you. Expecting me? Said something about a haircut. You two had an appointment? Not exactly, but... Well, his shop's here on Burnhouse Lane, just a few doors down from mine. The problem is the road is blocked. You'll have to go out the back door, then cut through the old swimming pool. But no rush. Have a nice smoke first. I'll open the door when you're ready. Right. I'll have a smoke now.
you done? Then cross over the counter. I'll take you to the back door. This way. Good luck out there. Hopefully we'll meet again, someday. Thanks. Yeah. See you next time. Mm. <coughs> yeah, it was. swimming pool there's nothing inside but a pungent smell of old moldy towels ew beware of showers Big chlorine container, potentially useful, but it's way too heavy to carry around. Let's see what's down here. We need something. Yeah. Something. Curious, uh, where the heck I can go anywhere though. Hmm. Let's 
sehen. There is nothing here. What we need to use it on, on the these things or Yeah, but where do we put this on? What is it we want to blow up? Yeah, but if you just want to put it there, then I mean... Just stood right here, so I mean, it's like <clears throat> it feels like we need to put, get it to a specific spot, Do anything there. It feels like I need to blow this one.
quite sure what the game wants me to do with this. supposed to take it. It says danger corrosive, you know, it's like, but I, it's like I need to open this one or something before, um, maybe she has <coughs> drag it to where it says no smoking and then smoke there. It's chlorine, does I mean that shouldn't really Yeah, it feels like I'm missing something. Oh wait, can we no I can't can't even So I'm wondering <coughs> Down here we need a bell, so there's like nothing I can do here really. It feels like where I need to go is to the left here. Which indicates we need to get that thing down somehow. Yeah, I need a valve to do be able to do anything. Correct or anything here. And it says this is moldy towels. We have showers. It's like.
Need to use this chlorine for something, you know? But it's like nowhere I can walk anymore. <coughs> so that's what I'm saying. It's like such a weird thing because uh, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. We are kind of limited in what uh, we can go. I'm just wondering if I'm supposed to maybe have stabbed the <coughs> thing with the screwdriver first so it leaks or something. Or can I? I just think this is just to get the chlorine over there. I'm missing something. Let's go down here then. <coughs> See, something needs to be triggered here or something. Could just run through it. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, that was like the last option I had. <laughs> Couldn't find anything else I could do there. Sometimes I can have water on in the showers on and off here. Okay, so let's put the chlorine in then. Uh, let's see. It's already open. That was a little bit weird though. It's like... You see there's something poison cloud like that and you're missing a valve, you think you have to like use it. Be able to run through there, but no, yeah, it was just to leg it and you're safe. Thank you. 
Uh, this poor guy died poisoned by gas. The look on his face proves that it wasn't an easy death either. Hey, thanks for the ammo, buddy. Enjoy the bad shower, people. This is well bringing the battle with us. You never know. Be really clean now, though. Ew. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly, my. There's some horror, horrid stuff pouring out of it. It's fearfully like just like the rest of this place. Gross. Pick up gun. Damn body, she's dead. Damn wall. Not strong enough. Can't do this anymore. Goodbye, Burnhouse Lane. Shit, not a damn thing. Thing, never find anything inside. There was nothing in there. Oh great, uh, this was a complete bloody waste of my time. Good killing spree. Good job. And I have a smoke after that. You know? One. 
a giraffe. Looks like we have to uh, kill her and to be able to get him down. the music killer uh, to get the uh, this to open angel I'm here come closer oh, let me say first ah, that was a good kill you know hmm baby <laughs> you came I knew you would it's you the torso guy. I prefer Ben. Ben the barber, at your service, Angeline. How did you grow your limbs back? How? It's simple. That fat evil woman chucked a pot full of boiling hot soup all over me. And I died. Ah, shit. I'm sorry, mate. It's alright. I was too tired to carry on living anyway. And here... On Burnhouse Lane, I can finally give my very last haircut. The finest I've ever done. So she didn't eat any So she didn't eat any of the soup? No. Why? Did you poison it? Yeah. Well, sort of. Mary hated the vegetables. She only made it for me. She said a healthy diet was meant to help my body make new blood quicker. And yet, it ultimately killed you. That it did. Ironic, isn't it? <laughs> oh, those Brussels sprouts always made me wretch. I can still smell them, even after death. Hmm. Quiet day. I don't see any other customers. It's always quiet here nowadays. The shop is just a ghost of its former self. The kind of people that live on Burnhouse Lane, they... I guess they don't have a great need for barbers anymore. That's what it is. What people? There's hardly anyone here. Oh, there's people here, all right. They sit at home, quiet-like, with their doors locked tight. 
But why? I guess they choose to suffer in solitude. It's not exactly something you want to share, is it? You died. Does that mean I'm dead too? You're not dead. Not yet, my angel. But this dreadful illness you have is killing you fast. When you haven't baked uh, already. It's just a matter vegetables. of vegetables. Mm. How do you know about it all? There are no secrets on Burnhouse Lane. I, myself, have been a frequent visitor here for a long time. Enough to get used to it. And I can tell you, this place is horrible, but it kind of grows on you. Stop it, Ben. The only thing that grows on me is my fucking cancer. Did you say something about cutting my hair? Yes, the chair's ready for you. But I thought barbers were for men only. Not this one. Women are always welcome here at Ben's. Especially you, Angeline. Just let me know when you're ready. I'm ready for the haircut. Then please, take a seat. If you require a cigarette first, the ashtray's over there. I'll wait. Oh, the scissors feel good in my hands again. God, how I've missed this. It feels like there's this electricity flowing through my veins instead of blood. I wish I'd understood it all before, you know? Sometimes, things just inexplicably happen to us. But at the same time, these things are what's meant to be. I mean, a grave digger doesn't bury in the ground because it pleases him. A bee doesn't sting you to cause you pain. Or a doctor. A doctor doesn't cut you open to punish you for something you did. They do it because those are the ways of the world and always have been. Oh, so you're a philosopher now. Okay. God, we were happy back then, weren't we? Long ago, in another life. Little kids splishing and splashing in the puddles on rainy afternoons. Mother's calling us home for dinner. So innocent and pure. So delightfully blithesome. Without a care in the world. I saw a kid playing in the puddle today. I used to do the same when I was little. Yeah, well, now take a deep breath and let it all go. Surround yourself with sweet nothingness. It's cold here and it's dark. But it's a good kind of cold and a good kind of dark. You knew this would come. The moment you start to fade is simply the preparation for what's about to happen. The parts of who you once were begin to crumble and fall down on the table. Do you realise? I'm sorry, Angel. I'm so, so sorry. I had to do it. Forgive me. What the hell? There's our sleeping beauty waking up. Snooping around me bloody house, were we? Naughty, naughty. Nothing to say in your defense? Oh well. I'd say that the cat's got your tongue, perhaps, but... <laughs> I always make sure there are no bloody cats in this household. 
You are a lucky, lucky lady. You would have died in that basement if I hadn't showed up just in time to pull you out. Truth be told, you should have died in that pile of shit. Don't you think you deserve any better? But I couldn't leave you there. I've always had a soft heart. And... Well... You showed up just in time. That stupid bloke was getting all dried up way too fast. I had to let him go. But you... Well, you... You look full of blood. I think it's the start of a long and beautiful friendship, dear. But let's see how you bleed first. Shall we? Oh, no. Looks like we're out of needles. I'm sorry, but you'll have to wait. I think I had another box up in the attic somewhere. Uh, 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 I don't know what we are doing here, but... If you didn't look at the screen, that would uh, could have been something totally different. Every character in the pod don't remember being here before. Hmm. Oh no, it was a good breakout. Oh god. Hmm. We got a cactus. Even you, pig German. What gonna do with you? I mean, I have to say this one. It's time for a leap of faith. It's time for a leap of faith. We will not be speaking in class today. Off to pig heaven. What remains of David under seats? Damn. Those pockets. Ammo. Okay, let's do another save. I don't have to redo that stuff in case it goes bad. With uh, Bloody Mary. So there's nothing else we can get. Hmm. 
I'm going back once I face Mary. I should take make sure I'm ready for this final fight. Mm, okay, we should be ready. The memorial board with photos of Mary's family members. Judging by the dates below the photographs, they will be dead for quite some time. Joel Willis, it Rose Baum, A.U. Willis, Bill Willis. One, two, three, four, huh? and it's locked. Let's cut forward. Must be control panel for the emergency lock. Okay, there is a D missing in the lockdown, okay? Lockdown. I will be stuck in this house forever if I don't find a way to unlock it. The closer. Lockdown password. Finish quality. Uh, January, March, April, June, July, September. Which month are we in right now? <laughs> Running away, There's no way she survived so many bullets. Mm. It's not some kind of superhero. Those pockets. Hmm, she had this little tiny key inside her pocket. I wonder what it is this for. Gun, eh? Well, she has another one. This, this one's a real hand cannon. for the gun I'm safe here damn it um, but in the game which month are we in now oh no I had to try it and it's either f the third one of number three or four
Okay, it has to be... Um... Oh, Bill. It's the end that doesn't uh, work on the typewriter. Oh, yeah, that's true. So her name must be Anne. Slightly upset there, I think. I can't believe it, she fucking bit me. Yeah, she did. to hurt. I won't be able to run. The wound must be deeper than I thought. Wait, did I succeed in the end? I mean, the soup was a fiasco, but Mary did drink my blood in the end. Straight from my leg. Speaking of which, I must put a dressing on it when I get home. I tried to run, but couldn't. The town's asleep. And again, this town is always asleep. We can't pick up that room. so far away in hindsight it was really unnecessary uh, efficient uh, ships uh, a little bit too late for that one. <laughs> but we were planning on bringing back for uh, dinner <laughs> 